Don't ever let anyone tell you that you need talent or hard work to be successful in life. The Dobre brothers are living proof that neither of those things are required. It's been a little while since we've looked at the Dobre brothers, so let's go ahead and bring them in here for their checkup at Dr. Charlie's office, squeeze their balls, and ask them to cough. Today we'll be watching another thrilling adventure with these four exciting brothers as they explore a $38 million mansion and decide whether or not they want to buy it and live there. What's up guys, we're back for another video. And today, um, we might potentially buy a new house. Not just a new house, a very beautiful, big, and brand new house. I love the way that Cyrus there on the far left looks. Everyone else is dressed relatively normal, and then Cyrus comes out here looking like a Kingdom Hearts character. Everyone else is dressed relatively normal, but then he comes out here looking like Count Dracula. It's like he just heard Black Veil Brides for the first time and is going through a phase now. You have to almost appreciate the shamelessness when it comes to this family's ability to flex their wealth on everyone watching. They just rub their wealth in the face of all their viewers, and their viewers fucking love it. They just eat that shit up like milk and cereal. They just absolutely can't get enough of these Dobre brothers flexing on them. They have $37.9 million mansion in the title, so you know exactly how expensive it is. And then they kind of talk down to you like... It's not just a new house, it's a brand new house and a big house. Unlike that shit you're familiar with, you plebeians watching this living in your little fucking meth laboratory crack shacks and whatever, it's nothing like that. You probably can't even picture the kind of house we're about to see, nor the money that's about to go into this. Uh, excuse the mess, they are doing a bit of a, they're, they're, they're changing up the top floor window. No, Stefan, I will not excuse the mess. This place is a filthy fucking pigsty. It's a swamp. I thought this was supposed to be Beverly Hills, not Dagobah? What the fuck have you even brought the Dobre brothers into? $38 million and you present this decrepit cesspool of disease and grime? Have you lost your mind, Stefan? This is an inexcusable disaster. Unbelievable. I, I feel insulted even looking at this. $37.9 million. My dirty little asshole it is looking like this. Good lord. Um, so real quick, the specs are 12,000 square feet interior but another 10,000 of exterior space with a decking. So when everything's opened up, it does, it feels like a 20,000 square foot house plus. I'm not the Dobre Brothers real estate manager. I'm no expert when it comes to real estate, but I'm just going to tell you, Dobre Brothers, 20,000 square feet, that's not nearly enough to contain your egos. You might want to just pass on this one right away. It is way too small for you boys. What are you, what are you, what are you trying to, you're trying to live in a little porta potty here? Only 20,000 square feet? Are, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be, this is outrageous and it's even embarrassing to watch you guys even pretend to be interested in this little piece of shit. Is that a real dinosaur? Yeah, Allosaurus Rex, 150 million years old. Oh, Not included with the house, it's an extra 1.5. I couldn't even imagine being so rich that a house that I'm looking at has an actual fucking dinosaur fossil propped up in the living room. That's like some supervillain lair shit. That's Dr. Evil shit right there. You can see all of the lake through here. Yo, we can set up like a, like a foam pit and just jump off from there and make some crazy videos, you know? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, calm down there, Cyrus. That's a little too wild and wacky. I, a foam pit and jumping into it? Are you kidding me? Bro, that's like illegal. That's like, that's too insane. You are too wacko mode like are you you've got to be crazy you have to be clinically insane like you actually need to be thrown in arkham asylum that is one of the most insane things i've ever heard in my entire fucking life that is actually alarmingly crazy you can park your car in the living room yeah that's oh cool take your signature piece piece and put it right here yeah, yeah but why stefan why would i want to park my car in my living room Unless I'm trying to kill the whole family with carbon monoxide poisoning or something, what could possibly be the point of parking a car in a living room? Maybe I just don't understand high rolling, but that just seems dumb. Multiple fire pits, one there, one here, one off the master. Two more for the guests, which we'll show you in a second. This is crazy, man. This is like, you got a view of everything right now. I can't be the only one that thinks this pool looks terrible. It's more like a glorified slip and slide. It's just really long. But just look at the width. It's only like three feet across. It looks like a water ruler. There is absolutely no way you can jump into this thing, dive into this thing. All you could possibly do with this little pathetic excuse for a pool is swim laps from end to end claustrophobically. There's absolutely no wiggle room for any type of actual fun pool activities. You could only swim from end to end and it'd be like the walls closing in around you because there's absolutely no space on the sides here. There is no width. Yeah, it's like your own dealership, yeah. you know? When, you, when you drive up, you can see the cars through your windows here, which is nice. Presents very well. This will be good for our Dobre 
Cars Channel too. Yeah. Big shouting out to the Cars Channel. Really smooth and suave. I mean, hey, look at that showroom right there. You could have a million cars in there, 15,000 naked women. Like, it's got everything you could want. And on only a modest price of $37.9 million. I mean, it's a steal. They're fucking giving the house away. This is the closet? Yeah. Yeah. Yo, this is the best closet I've ever seen. You guys got like sort of in the natural light because you know sometimes you put something on and with with the fluorescent lighting or whatever it doesn't quite show as well. Yeah, that closet is huge. It's absolutely massive. It looks like the inside of a bank vault. It reminds me of that scene in Men in Black 2 when they go to the apartment and you see all the futuristic weaponry in like a whole separate room. That's how futuristic and massive this room looks. Don't know what you need all that space for, but god damn it, it's it's there. I like it's it. nice. This is crazy. Yeah. It's like a hotel. Yeah. yeah. Last to leave elevator wins ten thousand dollars. Yeah. That's a door <laughs> brothers challenge. Twenty four hours overnight in an elevator. <laughs> Calm the fuck down, Cyrus. These ideas are too lit. Someone else that can afford a thirty eight million dollar mansion with an elevator inside of it is gonna steal them. You can't just give away the Krabby Patty secret formula. I I can't believe he's just giving away this gold. This genius. Spending twenty four hours in an elevator has it has it ever been done before? Can it even be done? Does the science even allow such a thing to happen? Like, it's fucking crazy. Last to leave the elevator wins $10,000? Like, that could even go longer than 24 hours. Like, holy shit. This man is an actual genius, a pioneer, a visionary. I can see who the mastermind is behind the Dobre classics, like making slime in a bathtub. Like, damn, this guy has got some banging ideas. All right, you guys ready for the coolest feature? Yeah. Check out this hidden wall. No. Would have been a wild twist if there was just a bunch of fucking bodies on meat hooks in there or something. Just like body parts tumble out of the fake wall when Stefan opens it. You punch in your coat. <laughs> and it's a full on safe room. I feel like Iron Man right now, bro. You should do it where you lock your brother in. Yeah. Let me out! Stefan, are you serious right now? Tossing ideas to the Dobre brothers? What? You want to be a Dobre brother that badly? You want to be the fifth Dobre? And that's the kind of idea you're bringing to the plate? That's what you're coming up here with? That's your fire? It's fucking genius! Oh, can you believe it? Trapping a brother in the safe room? That's a, that's a fucking banger, Stefan. You might want to just give up real estate and join the Dobre brothers full time. Like, that's that right there, that would pop off. Yeah, it's a home. It's a private club. The doors are actually motion censored by my hand. Anytime. What know. was the listing price? Uh, 37950 dollars right. Cool. Cool. We'll take a look at our options. And there you have it. We may see Dobre Brothers move into this thing. I don't know. It, it seems like a little bit of modest living for them. I think it's a bit beneath them. And it's only $37.9 million. So they're really just trying to be a bit frugal with their spending. Which I think that, that's a good example to set for their young audience. Like, hey, it's not always about the money. Sometimes it's about the character of a house. You know, because they could easily afford like a, a one billion dollar house even. They could live on the fucking space station if the Dobre brothers wanted to. Like there's there's nowhere they can't live and they're choosing this. That's it's almost inspirational to be honest. And it, what what a piece of shit, right? Like that house looked terrible. I mean, that's, that's a gross looking house, you know. I wouldn't want to spend 38 million dollars on that. I mean, that's garbage. That's a bunch of garbage. Uh, that's about it. So yeah. A couple nights ago, XQC watched the video on stream, which was about a 39 million dollar apartment in New York. And it looks like dog shit. It is awful. A horrible place to live. If you can afford to live there and you buy that, you are officially the dumbest person on earth. I don't care how much money you have or how successful, you buying that proves to the entire human race that you are a true failure. Let me show you this apartment and we can just go over this disaster together. Because it is astonishing how fucking awful it is. So the location here could not be better. We are just step from Center Park. I want to just start with this claim where the location couldn't be better. First of all, there is no good locations in New York City. All you're going to hear living in New York City is screaming, screeching, and the sound of horns blaring 24-7. I've been to New York a handful of times and it sounds like a perpetual Xbox Live lobby with people constantly yelling. Trying to talk to you and your friends inside New York City is harder than trying to talk to someone right next to a jet turbine. It is so obnoxiously loud. So I really couldn't imagine living right in the heart of that nightmare. But even setting aside my obvious bias against living in New York City, the video itself does a good job of showing why the location is still bad. It has five bedrooms, four full bathrooms, four fireplaces, 
First of all, who needs four fireplaces? What are you, a James Bond villain? That is an absurd amount of fireplaces. And also, look at this right here. What a wonderful view. You get to look at construction. Not only do you get to look at construction, you get to get woken up every day by the extremely loud sounds of construction. Fuck your alarm clock. Throw that shit right in the dumpster. You won't need it if you pay for this $39 million apartment because you're going to be smelling, hearing, and feeling construction every day. Now, of course, this might not be under construction for the entire time that you purchased this apartment and live there. But that's the beauty of New York City, baby. It's always under construction. It's always going to be like this. The entertaining area of the three floors. I happen to love this floor. The flow is so beautiful. The great room over here where you have your nice full bar. It's clad in this very beautiful onyx. The onyx is also backlit with lighting. So in the evening, this really stands out. You know what else stands out? That sharp edge, holy shit. Look at this. It's like a giant razor blade. This is something Jigsaw would have as furniture in case somebody escapes from one of his games. They might just run through here and slice themselves wide open on this. First of all, I don't know what the flow really means because it doesn't really flow. Everything's all over the place. You're going to notice that's a common theme for this apartment where everything has a different texture. This entire apartment looks like a horribly designed video game level. It's like it was made by somebody playing Sims for the first time. They just keep choosing different random things from the options menu and just haphazardly tossing them in. Like this is made out of onyx. Bathroom's made out of granite. This is made out of marble. This is made out of frozen plutonium concentrate. This one's made out of uh, unicorn tears that was superheated and then frozen and put next to the sink. Like, it's all kinds of different clashing things, so nothing even matches. So every time she mentions flow, I puke a little bit because there is no flow. And like, just look at the color of everything. There's fucking gold sofa in the background surrounded by black chairs, and then at the kitchen there's these gray chairs. Really, everything is constantly, it's like a battlefield in here. Is this monumental three-story staircase that is clad in marble. It is a masterpiece. We also have a very unique feature with an indoor-outdoor fireplace. So you're outside entertaining, you can look at your fire, and you're entertaining inside, you will see it too. Who are you entertaining? Encino Man? Just fucking Neanderthals, cavemen that we unfroze and then brought to this $39 million apartment? Who is that entertained by fireplaces? There's fucking four of them here, so I guess the only people going here are fireplace enthusiasts. Uh, like, that's the entire idea of the entertaining area. Look at this fire. Oh, yeehaw! Whoa! I'm going to show you what entertaining here in the Pentas is really about. Follow me to the terrace. I've never seen an apartment in New York City with an outdoor fireplace. I mean, this is just set up for entertaining. It's all beautiful, exotic woods. We have a green wall, all landscaping. And oh my God, look at this. We have a full outdoor kitchen. I see we're really stretching the definition of a full kitchen here. You have a grill. You have one grill with the world's most uncomfortable chairs in existence. This place isn't set up for entertaining, it's set up for torturing. Sitting on one of these looks like shit, it looks so painful, it'd probably blow your asshole out. The design looks like it's just a bunch of broken glass set on top of each other. It looks horrible. Let's take a look at this. On the other side of the terrace, we have formal dining with a fire pit. This is an apartment for cult members or something. So you gather your 12 satanic occultist brethren, you gather around this cube here and stare at the fire pit while trying to summon Lucifer. It doesn't work there, so then you go around the corner here and there's a fireplace on the other side of this giant fucking wall. This big domino piece right next to the fire pit. Within five feet, there is a fire pit and a fireplace. It's crazy. This whole apartment is a fixation on fire as a means of entertainment. It's fucking wild. And it also is a horrible location because, again, you're just surrounded by constant construction. I'm really starting to believe in the reptilian conspiracy theory because who the fuck else would consider this worth $39 million? And we're only just scratching the surface. We've only just begun in this train wreck of an apartment. There's just a random giant marble wall for no reason other than to have a fireplace in it. Like, who cares? That's just dumb. This whole apartment feels like it was some kind of scam. Like, they just had all of these expensive materials and didn't have anything to do with it, so they just randomly threw them into an apartment all over the place and then made, like, a huge ask on it for $39 million just to try and make up for whatever they spent on all the raw materials. 
we have this Japanese maple wood. You have gorgeous velvet from Paris. And my favorite, this atelier window that was custom designed just for this penthouse. And the view. You can see half of Manhattan Island over here. You can see like eight buildings and a car accident down below. It's not the most riveting of views. This dressing room is like for the stars. Storage galore. I mean, my God, this is a dream come true. It's all continue of this Japanese maple and this counter is marble. There's no way I'm the only one that finds this absolutely hideous. It looks atrocious. That design makes it look like space is melting around you. It looks like a bad LSD trip. It is like fucking awful. And then for some reason there's Paris velvet on another wall right next to it. For some reason. What are you going to do with a Paris velvet wall? Come on it. Like there's, there's no reason for that. The ensuite bathroom here is something that you will never see again. You have this panda marble that has been bookmatched. You have all nickel hardware, Dornbrack fixtures, radiant heated floors. My favorite, of course, the freestanding tub. Dual water closet and a spa shower. What can I say? I just, I would never leave this bathroom. This whole apartment must weigh like 10 billion pounds because it's all made out of like stone and shit. I wouldn't be surprised if one of the rooms was made out of rhino horn and shark teeth and a uh, whale blubber like it's just wasteful of all of this shit just thrown in here the reason she'd never leave this bathroom is because she would probably die in it it's like a hall of mirrors i couldn't even tell what half of this shit was in the bathroom without her telling me it's disorienting the the it's confusing and scary to look at it looks so fucking bad nice solarium that is actually set up as a gym right now but this could be a nice art studio and how about 39 million dollars and you only have enough space in this gym for a treadmill a bike and 15 pounds of dumbbells you could spend 39 million dollars on anything else and get significantly more space out of it than this you also have a full marble bathroom up here and my favorite Fabulous terrace, and it's right now set up as a sculpture garden, and you also have a green wall up here. Of course the bathroom is fully made out of marble because everything here is made out of marble. I wouldn't be surprised if the host is made out of marble and onyx and all that shit here. And I don't know what she means by it's set up as a sculpture garden. There were no sculptures, unless you count the green wall, which is literally as the name says, it's just a wall of green. That's dog shit this is a place you can entertain 20 of your best friends the custom cladded windows in marble that actually ties into the wet bar that has this beautiful marble as well i've heard marble so many times now it's completely lost its meaning absolutely everything here is for some reason made of marble i don't know who built this but that guy must be some kind of marble alchemist. He's able to just make marble out of nothing. He could take a fucking tissue and turn it into a block of marble. and has nothing to do with it except make ugly ass apartments out of it. You have appliances by Wolf Sub-Zero. And I can guarantee you that you won't see any other penthouse in Manhattan with a big window overlooking Central Park. A little disingenuous with that last claim. It's not overlooking Central Park. You can just kind of peek and see a little under boob of Central Park. Like you can catch a little sneak preview. Like you know Central Park is over there and you're peeking at just the right angle in the girl's locker room and you can see some titty. Like, you're not getting a full view of Central Park. You can hardly see it. You're catching very small glimpses of Central Park from this location. It's, it's not great when it comes to its view, but it is great when it comes to its marble. Because Jesus fucking Christ, again, the entire kitchen is made out of marble. There's a breakfast room. It's made out of marble. I'm trying not to show you everything because it's just the same shit over and over again. It's just like this absolute diarrhea of marble in this apartment. Just this volcanic eruption of only marble here. Uh, I don't know who Wolf and Sub-Zero is unless it's talking about Mortal Kombat characters, but those appliances look kind of cool and I love the name. So that's so far the only good thing about the apartment, but I don't know if those appliances are worth $39 million. 
extraordinary library that actually was the fifth bedroom. There is an access point to a full bathroom. So if you want to convert this, you can convert it back to a bedroom. I really wouldn't like to convert it. I'd like to just demolish it, tear it down, and just sell the materials because I really think you'd get more value out of just the raw ingredients of this recipe here. I just can't imagine that there's someone that's currently living there, which there is, nor can I imagine that someone would want to buy this. It looks awful. Beautiful layout, ample space for office work, entertaining. You have a fireplace, this exotic wood that's imported from Africa. Just absolutely beautiful. Two chaises there, are custom design, beautiful metals, onyx, and they're just gorgeous. There's no way human beings actually use this shit. This looks like what prisoners sleep on. It is a stone frame with a very thin little film of cushion on top of it and an awful pillow, if you can even call that a pillow. This looks terrible. I don't know, I don't understand. Who thinks this is a good idea? This isn't comfortable to lay down on to watch TV. It wouldn't be comfortable to sit on to watch TV either, because then you'd be at an awkward angle. There is no way a human being lives at this apartment. The chairs from upstairs were the first example, where it looked like you were sitting on just a jagged metal car accident. And then there's this. Whoever is currently living here and made all this is an actual maniac, a psychopath. They hate comfort. They're the opposite of enjoyment. And right next to the media room, we have the home office. The home office has these gorgeous... I was absolutely right. A supervillain lives at this place right now. Look on the right there. It's like a steel balaclava. What the fuck is that? That looks like something a villain out of a Marvel comic would have as like a trophy on their wall. And then their desk, it's just a bunch of little pieces of shit stacked on top of each other. Literal pieces of dog excrement that they have stacked on top of each other and encased in gold. I won't bother showing you any of the other places in here because it's all the same. It's just covered in marble, just marble puke everywhere with absolutely like no thought put into it. It looks like the worst place to live. It, they don't have guests at this place, they have prisoners. But yeah, anyway, that's about it. This is the worst use of $39 million I could possibly imagine. That's about it. So yeah. Property is currently marketed as an off-market listing for $40 million. Wow. Always, Affordable. Good. Well, this looks pretty... basic. Oh, marble! Hey, there we go. Finishes. Why would anyone pay $40 million to live in a penthouse? I don't get it. Just get like 20 houses. Why is this $40 million? This just looks like... Really generic. There's nothing crazy about this. Also, we have this glass railing. That wraps around the perimeter of this terrace, which in return good. the wind. Luckily, it's not that high, so after you spend forty million dollars on this piece of shit, you can just jump right off. It's in seventy-eight floor with these amazing views. You couldn't even get cool plants. It's an amazing space. This is the second French store. How is this an amazing space? And seating area. Like it's not ugly or anything, but it's not forty million dollars nice either. Man, what a waste of forty million dollars. How about $46 million? Who? Why? Jesus Christ! And get some of the best views of Central Park. I... If you make this kind of money, you should be trying to get as far away from New York as possible. Oh, I'm seeing some marble in there. Okay, okay. I might... Okay. I'm starting to come around. Alright, can we skip the cutscene? I'm trying to get a tour. For the landing. Another thing, let's wow. get close up on this door. $46 million and you get like a real fucking tiny closet for your tuxedos? We have the seating area right Whoa. in the dining table. And of course, the incredible views of the city and the Central Park. And as we go this way... I'll never understand this shit. Like, who wants this? As we continue, we get the Aside from the apartment, but like the shit in it. Like, who wants this thing? It's just like one of those anatomy... The designs that show the fallopian tubes, like the uterus and everything. Like, I don't, like, what is the point of this being here? There's probably like two million dollars. Art is the stupidest shit, I swear to God. It's so dumb. Which is amazing. And then this, like, what the fuck is this? It just connects piece? It's, 
it blows my mind. Rich people are so fucking stupid. Like, I don't get it. Like, who wants this? Uh, I just have to have this piece of steel that's been bent a little bit. I need it. 20 million. And not a cent more. And once you open it, this is how you get your fresh. <laughs> really cool. Second detail okay. I mean, whatever, I guess. Two beautiful chandeliers above, seating for That's a chandelier? These are fishing lures. These are literally fishing lures. Or, no, what are they called? Shiners? This is not a chandelier under any circumstances. This is like three cents worth of supplies that you've hung up. Abuse. Spinners, time, thank you, that's what it is. Has a oh, wow. Kind of trimmed and Look at and that. Here, this is where they recessed in the plug. So unique detail. Yes, one single yeah, plug like in the uh, kitchen. How shiny that is. Too. I love Damn. This. Yeah, we'd love to see those. And by the way, they're everywhere, which is amazing. So oh, it sucks being short, huh? And they use can't the reach the top shelf, model, idiot. Also as a back you can't, you can't live here. here. Done by Molteni. Thanks to Risa Remix. Let's get a close up here. Oh, <gasps> look at that. The concealed hinges. Ah, oh, what the feet. fuck is this? <laughs> Isn't this one of those things that people would use for self-flagellation? Like in uh, the Da Vinci Code, when he's like slapping himself on the back because he sinned? This isn't a cooking supply at all. Actually, one panel. Whoa! Detail, and this is where you have your pantry. Right next to that, you get a little bit of a desk setup on this side. <laughs> Forty-six right million dollars, and this is your office. Harry Potter had more space under the staircase to do some work. And look at this dog shit chair. This is what kids sit on in grade school. Ah, I'll take it. Very spacious room. You have the bed situated wow. on this side. Wallpaper giving a lot of warmth to this bedroom. Look at that, that fine I art. About this apartment Whoa. is how spacious each one of the bedrooms. Are. I love the there's lines. Chandelier above the AT diffusers, which is amazing. Ah, uh, there's a brick of marble in a glass there. tube. We have and Mikey lists spacious. And one on, of where the was that? Look at that. So you never have to be without marble. I can appreciate that. That's the one piece of art here that I can really side. learn Welcome to, to love. Floor. We have gorgeous limestone floors. A limestone nice fossil in there for some reason. Shower. Again, polished nickel hard wow, hard that's hard tight. Let's get a close up actually here. That is a that is not a lot of space in there for for wiggle room. Overall, yes. Again, staging is perfect. You keep using that word. I, I don't think that's what it means here. Back to the hallway. Ah, look at this closet. It's staged wonderfully. Two hangers, one shelf. Ah, wow. Ooh, that sounds cool as well, Cthulhu. I'll do that next. Look at the, just look at this staging. How can you not appreciate this? Am I right, boys? Just go ahead and oogle at this staging. I mean, we've never seen anything like this. Wow. Wowie. I can see why this guy is so into it. Just look at that face. That's a face of a man who just saw some beautiful staging. God damn. Look at that baby. And right on the other side. Hooey! We have the full bathroom. I'm going to show that door to you guys in a bit. <gasps> no, don't blue ball me. Earlier. What's in there? Bodies on meat hooks or something? Here's another detail I would like to talk about. Ah, rocks. So, oh, never mind. Uh, interior doors have these just paint lines pieces, for art. I want to show that. Looks good. Looks real good over there. Can you ring a uh, walnut door? The glass insert. Very nice, very nice. It stages beautifully as well. Excellent staging. I was thinking the same thing. But on the inside, it's a mirror. I did miss that. Oh, you, you're fired. I, I, I would have bought this had you shown me that, Dennis. I'm in the central part. Oh my God. Overall, wow. Look. That really just central. This is Central Park. Do you guys like Central Park? It seems kind of underwhelming. I mean, I guess it's winter. It kind of looks like shit. I've, uh, I only went to Central Park one out of my couple times going to New York. And all we did was sit on a rock. So I didn't think it was very cool, but I thought I just missed it. But if this is all of Central Park, it kind of looks like shit. This bathroom is stunning. There are so many details I would like to cover here. Oh my god, look at all that marble. On, did you guys see the marble? Dark marble here oh, oh god, yes. The length of this wall. Oh. Stunning. There's Same all the value. Floors are also here. 13 million multicolor mansion. Only 13 million? Ugh. Ugh. 
embarrassing. This is gonna hurt my eyes. Oh, it's so small. This is like one room in John's house. This actually does look like it's made in Minecraft. As well as in the back. In something of this, incredible essence. This looks like something I would have made in when Minecraft or something. Song, like it's just random time, shit. Oh, here's a cool tree. Put it in front. So let's take a peek. So the owner's inspiration coming from South Africa, which is where they're from, moved to Florida many years ago, had experienced the Is this just like a gender reveal room? Why is everything South blue and pink? Here is the lightness and yet the Did the couches explode into blue or pink dust as well? But this throughout it's oh. printed, but it's everywhere. 13 million dollars for fucking wallpaper doodles. Well, doodles being the wrong word. Wallpaper fucking dripped paint comes together. That's the passion they're going to experience living here forever. Yeah, it actually just looks like it's like the whole wall is so made with crayon. From the great room, which is 30 foot high ceilings into this space, which is the prime working, just ceilings. not working. We're into a cozy, comfortable family the marble driveway is pretty cool. Of course, marble's always good. And you love marble. Television set. It's actually an illumination for the ceilings. See, that's cool. Allowing you to transcend the illumination of various other lights. I like that. Marble. Talk about that marble shit. This is the zebra quartz with these little quartz teardrops. Three of them over this. Get area, that out of my fucking mansion. Entertaining, uh, Not marble. Point with all now that we've seen the main living area, let's go take a look at the rest of the house. How many takes did this guy do? Every other word is a different take. Could he not stop like puking at how so ugly the house is or something? In the house, Hans, and the one immediately to the side of this one is Marble. Really different because of its zebra type of dark materials that they've used Marble. to create the special feeling of that bathroom. In this side here, okay. you I'm going to assume it is. Fuck yeah. Closet. It's still genius. So let's take a look upstairs mm -hmm. as the drama continues. It has to be easy to be an architect for rich people. Like it absolutely has to be easy. Just have someone check your work to make sure the house won't collapse, but then just go wild. I'll put 10 staircases that don't go anywhere for art. Yeah, if they're like 80 years old, they'd love it. Look at that beautiful old-ass wallpaper. Yeehaw. Grandma will feel right at home. So that your yeah, experience but why? is a combination of eclectic with the furniture that's here, with this contemporary fan, with the colors of raspberry and lime and plum. Thirteen so million dollars in the bed frames got like dings on it, or is this design choice with like smudges? Your experience is a combination. There's no of way that's on purpose. Look at this. It's fucking peeling. Got shit stains all over it. As we talk about the design, you've got cubes, you've got circles. That's soaring 30. Beautiful cubes high. and circles. We got it all, Just baby. Is, brings a whole Only 13 mil. I'm in. Let's go. Give it. I'll take it all. Off of upstairs sitting area, pool patio area that is completely stunning. inside. All James together. Bond's 100 million dollar Malibu home. Architectural Digest just has the bangers. They find like the ugliest shit. I'm writing this one off a little early. Maybe Hi, there's my a name chance. Is Chris Cortazzo, owned by legendary actor Pierce Brosnan and his filmmaker wife Keely Brosnan. What? It's about 117 feet of Mal Pierce Brosnan can afford a hundred million dollar Malibu home. He's still probably my favorite James Bond, but he was only in four movies, right? Golden Eye, Die Another Day, uh, World Is Not Enough. What's the other one? How, there's no fucking way though. I'm missing one more, but how? It's not like he, get, he gets royalties on James Bond. He didn't make James Bond. He wasn't even the first one. How does he have that much cash? That's crazy. All of this is on the market for a hundred million dollars. Oh, so he can't afford it. He's selling it. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. The Orchid House, as you can see, I can show you what's out there. This place looks super boring for a hundred mil. This much that you have a breakfast. For a hundred mil, I don't know why you'd want something kind of old. Get like high tech shit. There should be a whole room where you walk in and it simulates the universe. So you never have to go outside. It creates like a fucking clone of you that you can send to do your errands. The location value. Yeah, I understand it's all location for that shit. I don't understand why you'd want to pay a hundred million dollars just for a little patch of sand and then share the beach with all of your 40 neighbors. Sounds like shit.
money laundering. People use that word a lot. I, I, I feel like money laundering isn't as easy as most people make it out to be. You know what I mean? World's most high-tech home. Okay. I am interested. Oh, don't give me a top 10 list. $4.7 million smart home with floating staircase and ocean views. Well, appreciate the five some guy, but not tonight, man. All right, let me fill up this water real quick before I go on this journey. My home isn't high tech enough to just dump water into my glass when I'd like it to. I have to manually do it like a fucking peasant. So give me one second, I'll be right back. Let's go take a look inside. Take me in, baby. Let's run it. Yeah. What's up, Chase? Yeah. Everybody, this is Chase Maher from the Chase Maher Group. We have six security cameras outside. Nice. You can see it from every iPad along in the house. You can see it from your phone when you're away. That didn't wait. Did that even work? We have from your phone when you're away. He's pressing buttons and nothing is happening. Way. Okay. Working as intended, I suppose. Damn, that pool table's nutty. This is the epitome of entertainer's dream. Let's go beat his ass. You've now devalued the pool table, you dumb idiot. You fucking idiot. You come into my house and ruin the value of my artesian pool table? Whoa! Floating bed here with LED under Whoa! Uh, folding glass doors overlooking the beautiful cool. ambient loop. And Jeez. I can see right across Look the at that. No well. marble. Everything what a piece of shit. Bam. What a so fucking pigsty. Four million dollars and no marble? So this place looks nice so much better than the other two mega mansions. It seems like more spacious too. All around every neighbor that I've been meeting, everybody in the area is so nice and kind. You haven't met any of the neighbors, liar. Oh, okay. Okay, is she our neighbor? What was that? It does look pretty cool. So far, this is like the best one we've seen, and it's also the cheapest one we've seen. Whatever that means, I guess. Smart home just means you can close blinds with an iPad. That mean that's worthless. I want something like this. Like this. That looks fucking crazy. What the fuck is this? I'm not watching a top ten list to get to the bottom of it, but that does look wild, like a snow globe. I was expecting that house to turn into Mecha Godzilla. That's what I'm saying. These aren't even high tech. They don't even transform. We're coming in hot. Holy shit. Wow. No shortage of marble here. Okay, now. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. This actually looks like a fucking mall. Oh, God. What the fuck? This is pretty wild. Things the prime snuff and resub sriracha and chappers. Yeah, ray tracing is on here. They did not skimp on this. Looks haunted. Oh, it probably is. You know how many workers probably died transporting all this marble here? They just buried them. Wow. Well, that wasn't really a full tour at all. That was lazy. Whatever, I guess. It really looks like it belongs in the future. I'm excited. That looks like uh, one of those drop rides at an amusement park. Figured out how to do the foundations. Ah, um, uh, the futuristic thing is just the design, um, not the inside. It's absolutely spectacular. But it's a what bed and a couch. Place? What have you created this for? What gave you the inspiration for this? Um. I don't know, I just kind of wanted a space I could stay the night in. Not impressed. Only 18 knots max speed? For 85 mil, I better be breaking the sound barrier on my yacht. Welcome to Nicholas, you're a scam artist. 
the first area I'm going to Oh my god, bean bags. Is, is the upper deck aft. 85 million and I'm getting bean bags from fucking the Party City? You kidding me? Area seating towards the aft. 12 seater table for eating. Oh, it's 85 uh, meters. <laughs> Oh, moving into the so what is it like 20 bucks? To either finish off your cocktail, that looks kind of cool. Or even watch a bit of TV, just to finish. Kind of exotic in there. Before you different retire. colors all over the place: gold, red. This is the marble floor from the lobby. Marble, let's go. It takes us past the and into the. He's not very enthusiastic the about this ship, table, which was fantastic for humid weather. This is sick and all, but an iceberg could ruin it. He hasn't shown you the hull, which is actually crafted out of 20,000 pounds of marble. Looking forward of the vessel. It would vaporize an iceberg. Whoa. The staircase is really cool. The staircase is really cool. Into the private suite. <laughs> Looks like the Black Ops 3 map. Private office. I don't remember that, but I'll take your word for it. This place is actually wild. Wow. But I'm not seeing anything high-tech here. All manual. Paying this much money, it should clean me. Just if I ask it to. With double opening doors leading onto a balcony. That is pretty cool. Enjoy your morning coffee. Or even a glass of champagne. Do people this rich care about sunrises, though? They probably hate the fucking planet. Relaxing. So do you get internet on these yachts? Because nice if not, what's the point? Preparing for the evening's entertainment. And then from here we move up to the crow's nest. Crystal Point, located at 300 State Route 28 in Crystal Bay, Nevada. Custom built into the natural contour of the land, this 16,000 square foot lakefront compound features eight beds, ten Ah, beds, from the 1800s it seems. Lush gardens, a mountainside hot tub, movie theater, wine cellar, in a private beach house that can only be accessed by one of the two hillside finishes. It's pretty cool. It's like a little golf Crystal cart on rails. Of the next generation of Lake Tahoe pro As we Holy this shit. Home, we're greeted by massive views with floor well, what about that power crystal in the middle? There's no other what is that? In Tahoe Fucking infinity stone. Expansive views like Crystal Point. The four large cedar columns do a great job of breaking up our entertaining areas in the main living area and the incredible wood vaulted ceilings. Give you that warm Are we just- like you're not gonna tell me what that is in the middle? Every inch of the home is made up of absolutely- You got a goddamn chaos emerald sitting in the middle of the, the fucking living room. The main living area are made up of hundreds of willow branches that give it a free flow feeling as you walk throughout the house. But the focal point of this room, under the turret skylight, is the crystal there we go. crystal point. So it's just a giant crystal? Okay. I thought it was gonna have a cool story, right but I guess not. Room, we the main and we found this all of its at Home Depot. Tucked in a naughty alder cabinet tree. Magnificent yeah, I haven't seen any marble it's yet, but I'm sure there'll be some soon. And grows some of the largest pine cones in the world. Don't worry, marble fans, I'm sure it's coming. A whole yeah, room of marble. A whole wing of the house in marble, maybe. And, dining areas to the and it's surrounded by total privacy. It is so private that you don't even need window coverings, and nobody can see inside of this part of the house. Another custom-made... Yeah, they can if they're in a boat. In route to the master bathroom, we have a beautiful sitting area. What do you mean? A backdrop. Good luck sleeping past 8 a.m. The billiards room True. draws its inspiration from an old... There's no blinds. An amazing place for entertaining your guests. You can enjoy a cocktail at the sunken... As soon bar. as the sun comes enjoy up, it just fucking blasts you. year old Brunswick... We exit the billiard room to the main... Hey, good point. Probably not sleeping past 8 a.m. here. ...and add <coughs> another additional unique view of Lake Tahoe. What about when it rains? All that furniture is going to get all yucky and fucked up. Just off the vaulted ceilings and a beautiful stone deck that overlooks Lake Tahoe. Who wouldn't want to be a guest in a place like this? Probably me. This looks like the kind of place where they like torture and kill poor people home, or something. We're surrounded by like in that movie, walls, Would You Rather. Waterfall to give you that feeling as though you're Was that the movie where they do that? The bottom of the stair Here we have the game room. Filled <laughs> with games like air hockey, skee ball and board games that also Ah, oh, great. In the room. TV for games. Yeah, if the kids are trapped in the 1940s. Where's the fucking anything modern? A PC, a fucking Nintendo Switch, a Wii, anything. Which is so incredible beach house. It is pretty cool. 3600 square feet featuring two ensuite bedrooms, a powder bathroom that's covered in wall-to-wall birch bark and a blue no marble. It allows for the absolute What a piece of shit. The beach house can't live in a place without marble. Glass doors. I the build houses like this. You, you build houses like this? 
Do you sneak any, like, Easter eggs in there that only you and the boys know about? Like, the builders that built this, is there maybe, like, I don't know, some kind of secret room in there where one of you guys would hide and, like, jump out and scare them and something like that? I feel like if you, like, if you don't do that, you should. Just like a real-life Easter egg in one of these rich people's houses. These are so big, you could probably make yourself your own room back in one of these and they'd have no idea. One of the most sought-after tourist destinations can be yours for $75 million. I'll think about it. You know, that didn't look like total dog shit, though, like the other really expensive houses and apartments we see. It really might just be apartments. Let me see. Let's do $70 million apartment. Inside an $85 million New York City penthouse that comes with two tickets to space. Man, they're so desperate to get this fucking apartment off the market. God, if you come here, we'll throw in fucking six strippers or something. Just please, Christ. The apartment has 10 bedrooms, 10 ensuite bathrooms, mm. 15 Marble! square feet of interior I'll take space. it. Includes a private chef for a year, a private butler, three exotic supercars, and a million dollar yacht. In addition, you get floor seats to the Barclays Center for the Nets. For a year, He's never held a basketball in his life. Daniel, a summer house in the Hamptons. Star I didn't even know you could look this uncomfortable holding a basketball. It's like if an alien came to Earth and they were trying to understand our games. He looks so confused by what's in his hands right now. So whoever owned this must have just died and they're selling all of his shit as a package. This apartment comes with three luxury cars. A Rolls-Royce Phantom hardtop, a Rolls-Royce Phantom convertible, and also, if you want to really kick up in... That is, I'm not going to lie, that's pretty fucking cool. I, I really like the full chrome shit. As well as part of a New York lifestyle is also going to the Hamptons in the summer. This place is so sterile. A Hamptons rental in Sag Harbor for a summer. It's a 12,000 square foot. What is this? This is like a tennis court, like a, a school rally where they just give off a bunch of shit for one big price. To the Sag Harbor town. You get six jock straps, four footballs, and a week of no homework. You actually be launched into outer space and orbit the earth in You've told me about everything besides the apartment. Here we go. Now we're cooking. Yeah, let me see this shit. In this living space, you're surrounded by open floor to ceiling windows that gives you views of the entire New York City sky <sighs> in Midtown. You're able to see the Hudson Rail Yards. You're able to have your private table and chef cook meals for you right here. Does, and the chef lives with me? That's pretty cool. I, I mean, I guess if the chef is cool. If he's an asshole, it sucks. So the kitchen here blends in with the rest of the apartment. It's an open kitchen which opens yeah, that's to the living space. Yeah, that's pretty accurate to say. And still be able to talk to them while you're cooking. This whole thing the is missing textures. Is into the cabinetry Just white. Makes it a on very white. seamless look. On Perfect white. Light you mode. You yeah, the whole apartment set to light dish. mode. You know how to party! Nothing says a fun party quite like busting out it's some like wine. House. This room in particular was converted to a kid's playroom. If you want a library space... These kids are going to grow up to be actual serial killers. True psychopaths. Space, anything can be possible. Growing up in an environment like this. To, having a private 24-seat movie theater is I mean, that's thing. always cool. Having it on the 45th floor of a New York City apartment is out of this world. It means nothing. Because you are inside of a movie theater. It could be on the ground floor. It wouldn't matter. It's the same experience. This apartment's more than just a home. It comes with a whole New York City luxury... It's a prime powerhouse and yarn. It can all be yours. $85 Gets into a car accident. That is like the most New York drive off I've ever seen. He immediately cuts this guy off before the camera goes away. That looks like New York. Right before that man fucking pounded the horn. Crazy. Fucking crazy. $85 million for a goddamn apartment. That comes with tickets to space. Inside a 70 million billionaires row resale. It's a pretty confusing title. Inside a $70 million billionaire's row resale. Okay. What we found to our surprise in real estate was that there was a tremendous amount of interest in this building when the market had been- Bullshit. How many people can afford $70 million prices. for an apartment? That, here on the 85th floor, we have a front row center seat of the iconic Central Park. I feel like after all of this, I have a really good idea on how to scam rich people if I was an architectural designer. The current owner Exit Prime is Wizard. a avid art collector. He wanted to have a special. He's an avid art collector of what his son's art projects. 
I guarantee these are like $50 million or something crazy, I bet. The worse the art looks, the more expensive it is. It's a fucking scam. Peter Lane. And each of the books that you see are one of a kind. They're three different palettes of color. And it in itself. So Why the fuck do I care about a art. little rock wall with sheep? Seven feet along the front facing. Okay, I guess. I know, Fluoro. They all do Absolutely look like the same apartment. Anyone that has an appetite for Manhattan has never been to New York. And they probably never will. They probably pay $70 million and just write it off or some shit. I remember, I don't, I don't know who it was, but uh, someone was, I think it was Select. Select does real estate for a living. He said the majority of these kind of things sell just for the sake of having them and nobody ever lives there. You said Kevin Love's house is dog shit? Inside NBA star Kevin Love's modern Tribeca home. What does Tribeca mean? What's up, AD? Hey, what's Kevin up, Love? big man? Happy to have you guys here. Hey, Go fuck yeah. Place. Happy to be here. I had signed, taken the keys, and you know, kind of the rest is history. So that was a dream come true for me. Thanks, right, so some this skibbles. is something that kind of, I exit. guess, not in my life, but when people come in here, it kind of gets overlooked. Is that really all it says is just exit? Is, is it supposed to be like something motivational? Like, get the fuck out of New York, maybe. I mean, it looks cool, though. It's like the YouTube play button. I feel like a lot of people know that my uncle is uh, Mike Love of the Beach Boys. My, my what? cousins are the Wilsons. So I think what that the kind fuck? of me the and, Beach and Boys? A space where music always had to be. Oh, that's fucking awesome. Kind of sculpture was he hates it. Uh, something that I had always wanted. No, you I didn't. I can tell you fucking hate it. Uh, conceptualize our space. You bought a pile of Lincoln logs, Kevin. This is the face of a man who knows he wasted money just because he has so much fucking money. It is a goddamn stack of fucking mega blocks. It's <laughs> dude probably paid like two mil for this thing right here. Kevin, you could have just commissioned me to make it for you. I love how the light hits it. <laughs> ah yes, when the sun really shines on it, it reminds me that I fucking wasted money. Very unique, um, and he's very unique in his own struggle, but also understanding like that we all share. <laughs> this anxious audience we all share he's just making shit up on the spot i bought it for a write-off i laundered money with it true that each person individually is suffering in their own right as well so i want to mirror rashid's people while you got all of that from this fucking cassette tapes scribbled on you know the more i look at it the more it speaks to me you know i think i'm starting to see it now that is powerful um, that is that does hold true. Doodle Bob. Each person individually. Yeah, he just likes Doodle Bob, I guess. As well. Humans, as, you know, it's black, white, or other. It's it's just really powerful to be in this room and, you know, find inspiration and know that our job is not done. It's not finished. Kevin, what are you talking about? You were just going on about how you bought like a fucking two million dollar wood statue of a a man with no arms. Like as well as my what? Landscape in Wait, is this real? Still oh, feel sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you, Kevin. Uh, whatever you're going on about, is this true? Mike Love the, from the Beach Boys is an asshole. He sued the rest of the Beach. He sues the rest of the Beach Boys often, saying he wrote all the songs when he didn't. Is that real? No fucking way. Oh, I, I'll get back to you in a minute, Kevin. I'm sure you'll go on for twenty minutes about how that forty thousand dollar bottle of wine is actually extremely important to the history of America or something. But I want to look this up. <laughs> okay. Well, that's interesting. Hey, I still like the Beach Boys. Fuck it. Maybe he did write all the songs. Who am I to say? I wasn't there. Feeling like we were super grounded. Thanks to give some war pocket. Uh, in New York City, in a major way, and the beauty he talks of talks like he's trying to fill a word count in an we essay. Got to have some sort of yeah. saying in the favorite bottles. It's a good year, 2010. Ew, not even vintage. A chateau. Ooh. The names. I think JJ Reddick and I. Are you poor, Kevin? About that. A 2010 uh, chateau. Uh, also. <laughs> in this pigsty with no marble. We a lot of great bottles here, as you can see. Some of the inventory is out because COVID has been a time where we've shared a lot of bottles. Yeah, COVID's been rough. We've had to drink our expensive wine. We just have a very cozy. <laughs> yeah. This is actually. Uh, it's relatable. In the place. It's rough. We love the. It gets pretty dark in here as well because it faces the courtyard. I would hope Sometimes so. It's I a bedroom. Here and just shut off, take a little nap. But, you know, we need people to rest if they're coming to visit here because New York can be fun. New York is anything but fun. 
I couldn't imagine a least fun place, right, except so for maybe Miami. In fact, definitely Miami. Another beautiful thing that we wanted was exposed brick. It just adds a, a certain element and a, and a certain feel that makes you feel like you're in the grittiness of New York City. Yeah, it makes you feel like you're going to get fucking mugged in an alleyway. <laughs> you couldn't even use clean bricks? Where I can really Are these just bricks you found outside? But I couldn't have you leave without meeting the other two stars of the show. Hey, what's up? Investry. Come on, girl. Don't Aww. be shy. It's okay. Good girl. Good girl. She wants some wine, huh? All right, AD, thank you so much for letting us show you our space. We got to take Vestry on a walk. We got to enjoy this wine. And we're going to get back to the rest of our day. Thank you. All right, have fun. Bye-bye. Oh, well, that was interesting. That was one of the more interesting houses we've seen. All right, let's check this bad boy out. An entirely gold bathroom sounds like something out of Austin Powers. Hey, I'm Steve Gold, and welcome to 69 Wooster Street. You see, you're fucking telling me Steve Gold is the one they sent to an entirely gold bathroom fucking overpriced New York shithole? Architectural Digest has got it figured out. We're here, and the thing about renovating a space that's so large is you gotta partition it. Looks like it's a concept art for the Titans in Attack on Titan on the wall over there. Actually looked good. Looks nice. Dipping into interior design, but he really wanted to take his shot at furniture design. So oh, he fucking sucked at both, I'll tell you right now. Himself. And as you, you just stick see, to being you know, extremely very, wealthy through exploiting the working class. Materials. This is pretty badass, I'd say. And not something I would not say that. Dining area, I mean, this is like... Ah, supervillain meeting you know, headquarters, I guess. It really goes with the apartment, so we're offering it with the furniture as well. It's like something out of Hydra from the Marvel Universe. Yeah, it'll be our little secret, Steve. Oh my, I mean, look so at this. Most people, you know, no marble, it sucks. It's fucking pigsty. You know, you come back. So if you haven't gotten it already... Whoever owns this piece of shit watched one action movie and said, I want to model my entire living quarters after the bad guy. These are actual just sticks, like chrome sticks holding up like aluminum cans, like the outer coating of an aluminum can spread outwards. Art so dumb for rich people. Very it's the over. dumbest shit ever. Never mind, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. So gold, wow. Golden dumbbells? So when the owner Jim, he has his bed, he has his tub and Never met this bed. guy, but I, I can tell you he's the most insufferable man in the room the every Not time he comes into like in the, any room the ever. Of the lion to the lion's and this punching bag? I can tell you this guy doesn't know? lift, whoever oh, lives here. Show me the video. owner. This one is a custom Probably looks like five tub. donuts slapped it's together. Digger on the bottom. That punching bag absolutely has never been used. It's fucking bejeweled bathroom, right? with gold for no reason. Unless it looked like this. In and it looks like shit. Oh my god. <laughs> what a fucking loser. Holy shit. All gold mosaic tile. This is even worse than I imagined. It's like a GTA online house held by a 12 year old. Oh my god. And a golden bowling ball in his closet, I guess. A oh, disco ball. Double height. I walk you through this place and this apartment, it's not. I have to know who lives here. Can you show me the owner? Like, give him a fist bump or something on the way out so I can see him? Instagram worthy apartment in downtown Manhattan. No, you should be ashamed to live here. You better hurry up. The last thing you'd want to do is post this online. Oh my god. That is probably the most hideous space we've seen yet. Somehow that is worse than the Damien Hurst cum dumpster of medical waste. That fucking hotel room for a hundred thousand a night which is just medical waste dumped around with pills that are framed. That is worse. I can't believe that it is, this is somehow worse than Damien Hurst's place. Wow. That, that is crazy. Who recommended that? You knew exactly what I wanted to see. Thank you for that. It's your boy. This was absolutely worse. At least with that $100,000 a night medical waste place, like, at least with that place, it's not embarrassing because you could just go to some corner of it where you don't see all of the medical waste and the stickers of pills on the walls. Here, everything is gold, so everyone knows you have a small cock. Literally everybody. You can't hide that you are at that piece of shit's house. 
Does anyone actually buy these? Yeah, this was owned by somebody. Somebody customized this place. I just don't know who. And this is not the guy who owns it. This is just the guy who's selling it. Why is why the fuck is every super expensive place to live in New York City trash? Because it's New York City. Like, I don't know why you would pay millions to live there. People pay millions just to leave. That place sucks to live. I couldn't imagine living in New York City. 88 million Bel Air mansion with a hidden car elevator. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Welcome to right to the right of the entrance. You have a six car car elevator because you're only six. Oh, so this is a poor man's mansion. No, Gross. And, you and I don't even see any gold. Right on there and then all accentuates the mass of you. Oh, oh. That is very spacious. You got the griddle, you got the grill, you got the six That burners, looks that looks cool. You got the walk Fuck yeah. Freezer, the outdoor garden so you could pick Oh my god. Parsley, all of your herbs, porcelain lamb, your lettuces organically for the home. Yeah, I would never do that. Gorgeous stone is that it's actually a power. Oh. You have the backlit floating onyx sink. And then you have the dual his and hers powder rooms. This place is just fucking cool. Not gonna lie, this place is fucking awesome. It's so futuristic. This is this is eighty-eight million dollars for sure. That means it's gotta have that ultimate wow factor. He does sound a little like Steve O. Yeah. Very difficult in modern homes because there's so much glass. And let's say you get bored and you're like, you know what? How do you prevent people from seeing you shower? It's just the middle is it's a completely glass shower. Cool. All of LA is gonna, well, all of rich LA is gonna see. Oh, there we go. Cock and balls are safe. They thought of everything. Here we have. And this is actually our guest bedroom what suite floor. This is actually. What is this piece of art? Just someone suffering on the floor? What, they just took like a picture of one of their workers or something? Like, what? This is the worst art. Why? Why have this? In the guest bathroom, you have your Japanese soaking tub, which is a solid piece of Carrera marble. No, oh, very good. And you're very good. Here and overlooking it's saved. We have half of an egg there for a bathtub. Really very good. Steam Even the gym equipment stays in the same vein. What of the home. fuck? So you have everything in this bench, wood. What the fuck are these? These are their dumbbells? What, does it go up to eight pounds max? It's, they literally just like took nut sacks and taped them to wood pieces. This is simultaneously the most inefficient resistance training utensils I've ever seen, and also the ugliest. Oh my god. It's like, it's like, oh, it's like a bra design. Every big house needs an elevator. Disagreed. I think that'd be the worst thing to have in a house. It's just, what's the point? This view, in this fantastic swing, Fuck. this is paradise. Jesus Christ, this place is nuts. This is your own private What the fuck was this down, down here? And you can't forget about Oh shit, I didn't mean to click that. Salon. I wanna see this in action. 70 degree views. That's pretty cool. That looks really fucking cool down here. It's like a whole little performance. You got the pool, some stands, VIP lounge, the movie, that's really cool. Damn. Inside a hundred and ninety-five million dollar Bel Air estate with secret tunnels. Fuck, I'm in I'm in the rabbit hole again. Ten point four acres with views. That looks like where the president of a country would live. Holy shit, Pacific this place is huge. State features oh my god. French Chateau what six the bedrooms fuck? and thirteen baths. The twelve thousand Holy shit. What the fuck? Come on in, check it out. Hey, I mean, that's a modest price. Yeah, I'll take it. Fuck it. All right, I'll, I'll, you sold me. I'm in. Jesus. Completely unheard of and probably never. It's like his own little town. When you brought in interior designer Henri Samuel, and it took them. Uh, I don't care about Samuel. Just take me inside, please. They did everything, including. I want to see this bad boy. Yeah. It's like a Congress building. With beautiful staircases, Ugh. limestone shipped here and attached. And if you look closely at these, you can still see some blood. You'll see strings on. 
Whoa. The staff would bring in. If the walls could speak, they would tell incredible stories. Coming down from How do rich people invite this many people over, though? Area that transitions into a ballroom. What does that even look like? Hey, just come over this to my place. We'll watch the... Also doubles as a I don't screening know, room as well. New episode the of Jujutsu Kaisen on my pop-out bar TV. Revealing and on this estate is a phenomenal rose garden to the left and to the right, a beautiful... Looks like that setup from that house in RuneScape where you have to beat like a witch and you turn into a cat for a little bit. Holy and shit. And here we arrive at the Grand Fountain. That's kind of a lame fountain. And when you look just a hose the turned upside down home, you see the cemetery kind of shitty beautiful pleach tree should be a statue of the guy with his cock out and pissing you notice, these four tons of parties were held here during a birthday gift party. Sub club. they had a swimming competition right before the starting gun went off one of the competitors pulled out and asked for a replacement out of the tunnel walked michael phelps needless to say anyone who swam that day yeah that's a lie higher than a silver medal actual Amazing lie space. that didn't happen so large in nature and then everyone clapped rock garden maybe michael phelps just lives here somewhere like in one of the closets or something your things here put him in the locker just been here the since that pool meeting out and the echo is wild come on in look at these finished walls you could hide so many bodies in here and a concrete type mixture coming out of the side of the tunnel what? why does it look like that portion of the property and now we're gonna head up to the garden pavilion. This is so fucking crazy. And is the helipad, and mm. over there is the submarine pad. Area, ah. With its own restroom as well. Let's go back down, hop in the cart. I want to show. Is you it already house. bought? I'm not sure. Why are you looking to put an offer down? This I can help broker that if you want to send me the money. The back. And then I can start to negotiate with them. And now. Oh. This one works too. Yep, that sounds evil. Wait, this is a car gallery? Collector's dream. And These are some boring ass cars for a collector to have. What? What is this shit? Where's the sports cars and the old fashioned cars and the, the steam engine trains? Uh, these are soccer mom vehicles. <laughs> $195 million and I don't even get the cars? What a piece of shit. Dream. And right All normal cars. Despicable. Unless you have a wine tasting room right outside of it, which of course this one does. But to really see what's going on, come on inside. We this have a man on staff, 24 hours a day, just to swish wine in his mouth and spit it back in the bottle. There was a gentleman who was standing right here and he was looking up and he said, ah, oh, this makes sense. We said, what are you talking about? He said, I have been looking for this wine for 15 years. Couldn't find it, looked all over the world. The entire world supply is right here. Do you just lie oh my God. about everything? Of wine were sold. <laughs> Making that, that didn't happen either. What? You see this elevator. Uh, in fact, George Washington used this elevator when he was helping to found the United States of America. People keep saying Big Sean house tour. Inside Big Sean's Beverly Hills mansion with a nightclub. All right, that sounds pretty fucking cool. What's up, AD? <clears throat> I'm Big Sean. Hey, man. Welcome to my house. Well, let's thanks go. for having me. Yeah, all right, let's go in. Fuck yeah. Better be made out of marble. Special art piece that I made for my song, One Man Can Change the World. Big I Sean performed at my university one time. That's uh, a song I wrote about my grandma. I got very I sick. First female black captains in World War II. I like his music, but for some reason I went to the concert and I got so uh, fucking sick I had to go back to my dorm and puke. Day, and then I went so, to sleep. Uh, we got orchids. I'm sure it was a good concert, though. I was born year to drink. This is the Stone of Harmony, and as soon as you walk in the door, you get hit with that Malachi energy, too. That's the know? Stone of Harmony? It just looks like... Looks like just straight up bud. What would happen if you froze shit and had it crash land into Earth? It kind of just looks like the mold people from Resident Evil 8. What the fuck is up with this whole rock thing? These are huge now. I see this all over the place. What is this? Malachi? Malachi or whatever? What is Malachite stone good for? A protection stone that absorbs negative energy and pollutants, picking them up from the atmosphere and from the body. It guards against radiation and clears electromagnetic pollution. 
Malachite clears and activates the shock the chakras and attunes to spiritual guidance. So it does nothing. It's a fucking rock on a stand. Maybe, you know, maybe it's just too advanced for me, man. Like, maybe if you broke that down, like, if you cut that Malachite rock in half, fucking karate chop it in half, maybe all kinds of horrible negative shit would pour out, like Pandora's box. Like, that house burns down, fucking ooze starts going on the floor, creating xenomorphs. Maybe. I don't know. All of these fucking stones and believing they do things is massive these days. It has never been a better time to be a scam artist. Freaky door. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is a pretty wacky door. He is not wrong. There's nothing crazy. wrong with this place. I mean, it seems nice. Kind of plain, Christmas. but that's fine. She was like, yeah, this is my mini grand piano. Um, so when do we go see, smoke the malachite? I'm at the very, very beginning. <laughs> Let's get wild. The older I get, I see how con no handles just pushed open. You know? Man, this place is I got spotless. Because I kept a few things from Slash, though. No camera, no Welcome cell phone, no club. video. What a waste. I didn't really change the design of it. It was kind of always like this, like all black everything. Um, I got the exact same couches that he had in here before, but I just got new ones because I don't know what the f he was doing down here. Good. That's a really good point. That's a good point. He really much values the hygiene and cleanliness. I wouldn't have expected that from a nightclub. I would go in here and expect to just like be gross. I watch most of my stuff. A fucking homemade nightclub. Star Wars, Dragon Ball Z, whatever. You feel me? Terminator 2 Schwarzenegger at that. Great movie. I'm not trying to like be a bodybuilder. I'm not about to be in a Marvel movie, at least not yet. I just really wanted to be in the best shape of my life. It's pretty much all you need. You know, you can survive. He's the prime renown. Just this, for sure. He's got the essentials. You should get a cable machine, though. Where my bed is, nothing special. You know what I mean? I'll show you guys the other part. There's of five room. women on his bed right now. The part where I spend a lot of time. Oh, we don't need to go in there. Accent. I ended up losing it, and uh, <laughs> Cuddy gave me his. It's pretty so cool. Really incredible. That's I still it. have that one. Jesus has got a bit of a wacky face going on there. It's kind of like if Jesus got hit a lot with like a like a bat. Like he's gone cross-eyed and well, it just looks like he's bruising a bit, but it's still a cool piece. It doesn't look like me. What are you talking about? I got some books right here that I really like, though. Um, people I admire, of course, Aretha. I better see a man who forgot how to poop Sammy up Davis. there. I actually have a book about rap tees. Uh, boring. Show me the, the man who forgot how to poop. Are in, are in this book. And a lot of the, uh, you know, Big Sean, I got you. I'll send you a copy. Right Fuck it. From seven and I don't think he has it in his collection. Ever see their dreams turn real? And I for sure True. Very blessed. Thank you, guys. Oh, he seems like such a nice guy. I don't know what's up with the, the south direction, it's but Big Sean, I think you've been successful in state, every right? direction. Well, this was a really cool fucking house. And it seems like a good guy. I actually got a studio session in a few minutes, so unfortunately... He'll be doing a cover of 2019 guy. Is, but God bless you. Take care. All right. See you guys soon, AD. Hey, right, thanks for I having me, Sean. All right, love. Have a good studio session. Peace. All right, bye-bye. That was wholesome. Represented by Bayroyan and Associates, this impressive house yeah. features five bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and over 9,000 square feet of living space. I am seeing, I think I just saw some marble. Along with a spacious <sighs> home office. Wow, look at that. Golly. This, this seems office features warm expensive, walls, not goofy though. Cool views and a bright bathroom surrounded in marble. That's what I'm fucking talking about, a marble Even chamber. Office, no question, the centerpiece of this entrance is this custom spiral wood staircase. I don't give a fuck about that. These marble slabs here oh. are so big that it takes about four people I didn't to even notice the place. I didn't notice the floor was marble. Superman. And then to my left over oh. there, you've got yourself the wine bar oh. to the kitchen. So let's go and check that out. I could see the kitchen. Wow, look at that. Actually, everything in this house is marble so far. Finally, a, a good house. European design kitchen 
features four Actually, fucking everything is marble. Island. Even the food is marble. Control for smart home yeah, probably. System. It's got this custom crystal. Hold on, I, I just need to read this aloud. Has anyone else noticed all the similarities for successful people? Meditation, gratitude, and a good mindset. Do you believe in the law of attraction? No. I don't know what successful people you are finding, but I, I could only think of one off the top of my head that meets that criteria, and it's the one we just watched, Big Sean. When I think of successful people, I think of conniving, mustache-twirling bad guys. I don't know where that's coming from. The people at the top are fucked up. Uh, but there is nothing wrong with meditating, expressing gratitude, and having a good mindset. There are successful people that do it, and like we just saw, Big Sean. But yeah, I don't. I definitely wouldn't say the majority of successful people are good, meditative people with a, a positive mindset to the world, the world around them. But you just said Cristal like it was nothing. I just said Cristal. Oh, sorry, Cristal. Cristal. Yes. I think I had a girlfriend named Cristal once. Oh, let's not talk about her. Let's not. Yeah, that, <laughs> that slut. There, don't mention her. High not here. So what do you do with furniture on a patio like that during rain? There doesn't seem to be any coverage, so now do you just bring you it inside? Or like, what the, the kitchen, fuck do you do? Leave which it? Is a per now, over here you've got a perfect spot to hang your coats, which is adjacent right to your three car garage door. Only three cars in a garage? Oh my so god, it's a pigsty. What a piece of shit. Door that Where am I going to put all my 40 supercars? In the kitchen area, and then Laughable. Got all this storage here, what a waste of marble. To the, and then in this Thanks bathroom, for Check out all the marble. Marble! Let's go! Let's fucking go! I wouldn't even use this bathroom. I'd keep the marble in perfect condition. Mint. So it's super. So past the stairs, you've got yourself a conveniently located washer and dryer. So you got LG appliances, nice countertop. It's not that convenient. Sink, it's on the second floor. And even two windows above. You have to go upstairs so here, for past it. Past the elevator, let's go and check out the second If you were real money, you'd have suite. nine different washers and dryers in every room. But I think the best feature in this, once again, is the view. Views, yes. Look at that. Wow. To that's right, you've okay, got this actually beautiful pretty. built in TV unit above the But fireplace. it's a piece of shit. Fuck it. All wrapped World in not made out of marble. Don't want to look at it. Pretty clean. Holy shit. What the fuck is this? 80% of this house is actually Tons covered in marble. marble. You've got the his and her sinks right They just there. had excess and like, fuck a it. We're putting it everywhere. Yeah, it's got this silver leaf look to it. Very sleek. So we're gonna make our way Slipping up the hazard. Hallway. Yeah, it's gotta be this so slippery. Did you see the planks? These You'd have to have doors are like beautiful, nice and towel wide. on everything in there. You've got this unbelievable movie theater. Now it's got this oh sound my God. dampening wall that's white. Now usually you see dark in these. Yeah, it looks rooms, like a garage door. I actually like the white look. Your very own home gym. Yeah, I like how they always say home gym, but it's literally just so a treadmill. So just the theater, you've got. So just when you think the entertainment ends, it only gets better. Mm. And that is right outside. Oh, we've got oh mini golf, putt putt. So as you exit the basement, holy shit, you've got this. This would be a pretty good investment for hot tub streamers, like a whole hot tub streaming super house. Because we've got to play a game of chess. What's yeah, good. Uh, maybe you should set up the board correctly before you start Percy. playing. Okay. And move them. Oh. Right. This is here. Uh, I was gonna buy this spot. place, but got? the realtors ruined it. Alright, guys, that's the end. that's my boy Jaden behind the camera, and we're property grams. We'll see you on the next video tour. Hey, thanks for having me. Fuck yeah, let's go. You ready to do this? Fuck ready, yeah. Set, go. Give me so who lives here? God? Place this sounds nuts. Whoa. What's amazing about Jesus coming Christ here is it's hundreds of millions of dollars. Yes, it's expensive. But it's totally different. The style is completely different, but it makes sense. Yeah, it, it doesn't look that cool. And a fossil wall of real fossils. I'm a little underwhelmed. I mean, that's cool. That shit's cool. I'm going to take a guess. Whoever owns this is at least 80 years old. Because this shit looks so grossly old-fashioned. Elk is what's for dinner. Right outside the master bedroom, you've got your own fountains, more outdoor space, manicured everything, and your private walkway to your own planetarium.
What? Holy shit! It's like I ran out of Majora's Mask. And you're in your own private planetarium. Look at this thing. Did the ceiling door open? Pretty cool. And look, you've got now this is starting to look like it's worth two hundred and eighty million dollars. Written out here. Got this little like cut out here, so as you walk into the house, you can see the hood, and you can see what's for dinner. Don't tell me that leads right outside. Wait, what? So as you walk in Does this just lead outside? This has to be the biggest fucking nuisance of all time. Just bugs and insects and shit flying in. Where does it lead? Because it looks like it goes just straight outside. She hangs in here, and right outside you have direct access to the pool and the jacuzzi. Not a single piece of technology seen yet, except the planetarium. Yeah. And now we are where it all Whoever owns this is again like 80 years old. His fucking wife is quilting. Discover things. Deadliest catch. Whoever owns this must have like invented oil 80 billion years ago. Bigger bears. Thanks to resub Kelly. Exactly the office that I would expect a guy that founded the Discovery Channel to have. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. He founded the Discovery Channel. Okay. This is one of the junior Not even like a single TV or anything. Bathrooms, multiple closets with Or a computer or something. Beautiful. The buffalo are nice. There's two baby buffalo. There's one right there. Why would he want buffalo at his place? Not only do you have your own 22,000 Does he think they're cool, I guess? Not only for your own airplanes because right there is your own hangar for those airplanes. I'm gonna go ahead and make a bold prediction. The guy that owns this dies in an airplane crash soon. In order to show you all 9,000 acres- I can't imagine that being super safe. I can't- He owns these mountains? What the fuck does he do here? Push people off when they don't do what he wants? Like, holy shit. Oh my god, this is still his property. Which is actually pretty cool. Let's go check this place out. There are definitely people he's killed out here. No doubt. Cool. Awesome. What next? Oh, he wasn't very impressed with that. Oh, you live in this piece of shit? Okay, yeah, cool. Alright. Can you take us back to that huge place? It's with my favorite vodka, Smirnoff. I'm assuming he's sponsored. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, big drink. <laughs> really got a lot of that good Smirnoff. Yeah, and like I mentioned before, this place comes with an entire staff of 130 people. That's all. So the guy basically just runs like it's got a, spa, a vacation spot pools, two restaurants, that he also theater, lives at. A bed center. Look at the ceilings, the finishes. I mean, it's almost as nice as his own house. And this is just one of the resort rooms. I mean, look at these views. It's actually pretty fucking wild. That's more space than the forty-six million dollar apartment in New York we looked at. Actually, they're not out of John does not fuck around. Southwest Colorado. Fossil room, a movie theater. You're on planet. Uh, I did see it. I, that is pretty wild, actually. I mean, all the other shit we saw was dreadfully overpriced, but this guy literally owned like his own sovereign nation for two eighty mil. So that that seems like about on the money, to be fair. Like, if you have a $280 million that you can just blow, this is probably the way to do it. That man owned, like, half of Colorado. What would you do with all this space? If I owned all that space, I'd make it, like, Roller Coaster Tycoon, man. I'd open up a fucking full blow- like, a, he kind of already did, but, like, for old assholes. Mine would be, like, dopey shit. It'd be, like, actually Roller Coaster Tycoon. Make a cool theme park out of it.